Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so this time you won't be seeing me, uh, which is just as well, uh, in the corner of the screen like you have in the past. So uh, the title of this unit, which is Unit 9, is Selling. Hmm. Have you ever sold anything before? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you have sold something where you handed over some good or service, mainly a good, and somebody gave you uh, something in return, probably money. So uh, there are a couple of um, topics that we're going to cover are marketing to students, and models or modals of obligation, modals, not models, modals, career skills, making suggestions, and dilemma, guerrilla marketing. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the picture. We have uh, uh, kind of a kind of car. Is that a sports truck or a small sports truck maybe? Or a car that uh, where you can remove the back half top of it. And you have a large can which represents a Red Bull. And you ever tried Red Bull before? Don't drink them at night because you may not be able to go to sleep. Okay, so here are some concepts that we're going to be um, looking at. So we have uh, to sell direct, okay, to the, to the consumer. And we have sales representatives. You've probably encountered a sales representative, especially when buying what? What were you buying? Or attempting to buy when you went to a sales representative was it a car maybe for some of you was it a house probably for none of you was it a smartphone probably for all of you so these days uh, most people will uh, deal with uh, smartphone sales representatives and then, uh, let's see, a lot of companies sell products and services business to business or B2B. B2B means business to business. And try to remember that one. Uh, and I don't know if this happens as much as it used to, but um, some individuals and some companies use flyers or catalogs in order to um, let the people know that uh, there is a, a, a product or service available. And you're doing that. They would be sending those flyers or catalogs um, to potential customers. You know what a flyer is, right? A flyer is a, just a, a single sheet of paper that has information on it about a product or a service and you'll oftentimes see them attached to a telephone pole or some some place like that and a catalog has more pages basically uh, of course potential customers uh, so direct sales is a method of selling uh, also direct mail these days of course you're seeing a lot of advertisements where Think about that for a minute. Of course, on the internet. So you're watching a YouTube video and the countdown will begin five, four, three, two, one, and then on comes this advertisement. And we see it all the time. I think most of us are now uh, using computers rather than uh, watching television. And then a marketer. Marketers are always looking for ways to promote. So one of the main uh, pushes for a marketer is to promote their product or service. How do you do that? How do they do that? We're going to look at some ways right now. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I had a little uh, uh, interruption there that created some background noise. No problem. Uh, so promoting a product. Here are the ways products are promoted, as you can see. Now, of course, one of them is not 
we're not mentioning the um, uh, online marketing and probably because this is an older book but that is a major major uh, vehicle or outlet for advertising these days it's it's uh, on the internet especially when you watch YouTube videos or you go to other places like um, uh, websites or um, Google searching there, there are advertisements all over the place Facebook okay so now we're going to just just take a look at that those different ways direct marketing direct mail that's still done uh, sales promotion special offers so you'll see those those are actually on the internet personal selling so people still sell in person on the road for example on a sidewalk someplace like that at the entrance to a business advertising media of course that would be internet and television all right so we're going to skip over this part here uh, there are some questions for example look at uh, reading number one how much money do UK students spend in a year in total so those questions are about or come from the article that's on the next page so you can just read this and then uh, or read the article and then try to answer the questions but you can do that on your own here it is the article of course the title is marketing to students it's interesting because it turns out that students especially university students um, uh, make up a huge potential market and they have certain uh, belief systems and certain philosophies that um, kind of affect or direct the kinds of companies that they want to do business with you know for example if you have a coffee company that um, where there's um, the CEO of that company has done something really bad uh, maybe um, to an employee or something along those lines uh, university students will pay attention to that and they might not uh, go to that coffee shop to spend money because they're angry with uh, the uh, practices of the CEO or maybe the practices of the company maybe for example they are not um, treating the pickers of the beans in a third world country uh, very ethically or very well and that might upset um, young coffee drinkers and they may not you know do business there so this is something to be aware of that a company needs to be aware of and then there's the tube London's uh, underground train system okay a sales rep sales representative sales pitch selling something by saying how good it is an insider this is someone who is part of an organization and so has special knowledge of it you have insiders uh, in um, the stock market and they give useful information to uh, investors in the markets so it says here um, students have a strong sense of social responsibility so they want their companies to be socially responsible and ethical branding it, it basically they want companies to be nice to their to to people okay and then what ethical reasons could people have this is sort of something to think about what ethical reasons could people have for not buying from a particular company well maybe um, sexual harassment maybe there's someone important in the company that has committed or has been accused of sexually harassing uh, employees and that might be enough to keep students away from that company and doing business there it could be what a coffee shop uh, a restaurant a bar a chain 
of some sort. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Okay, it says here, complete the sentences with these words and phrases from the article. So you have the article up here. So um, look through the article and identify these words and then choose the correct space to write or put that word. So let's do number one together, shall we? The market for new cars is mm, about 200 quid, 200 million quid a year. Okay. So is it boost, debt, discount, estimate, high earning method, payoff, spending power, or work? Which word is suitable to write in that space? So go ahead and do that yourself, um, and we will okay. We will go over these answers, by the way, before the test. I just wanted to remind you, instead of going over every single one, we'll um, we'll do it later, and I'll make sure that you have all of the correct answers. Try to do this on your own. Spend time uh, looking up these words. So basically, number one is. The market for new cars is worth about 200 million quid a year. I would think it's probably worth more than that. That doesn't seem like very much to me. Okay. And there's a little article here at the bottom. Uh, the title is Make Ex Espresso Coffee at Home. Uh, I guess I'll just I'll just read this. We'll just read along. Okay, we'll read this together. So get ready. One, two, ready, go. With an exciting new machine, you can now make the perfect espresso coffee at home. Nestle Nespresso, part of the Nestle Group, has combined an excellent product design with clever market to completely change coffee consume at home. Okay, so what's going on here is the words are not formed correctly. You see what I mean? So you wouldn't really say um, has combined, let's go back, an excellent product design with clever market to completely change. It's not market. You have to change that, don't you? What do you change it to? Well, if you go up to word building, vocabulary two, you'll see marketing. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's how you change it. You change it um, by adding the ing. To completely change coffee, consume at home. Consumption. Aha. Uh -huh. So the answer is up there too. A recent analyze of the espresso, uh oh, market. Not analyze. It's analysis. Right? Okay. And so on. Carried out by the market research agent AdPro. So why don't you do that one on your own? Agent. Hmm. Shows that the potential for sales of Nespresso machines is huge. For example, 70% of the French consumer espresso. Consumer? Hmm. Is that right? But only 10% have a machine at home. Nespresso sells coffee capsules for its machines through the Nespresso Club, which allows consumption to order online. Consumption? Change that to a person. Consumption in the in the person form is what? The company is a sponsorship of the sailing team. Alinghi in its campaign to win the America's Cup. This sponsor deal is a perfect match between two dynamic world teams. Okay, uh, I'm going to break here. So do that on your own. Finish it on your own. 